Okay, so after my daughter was born, um, uh, my daughter's dad was so very childish and um, I had to literally beg him to spend time with his daughter and, you know, be the man that my daughter needed him to be and I needed him to be. So, um, you know, after a year or so of just dealing with the constant, please, you know, spend time with your daughter play with your daughter, love your daughter, um, you know, it, it was so hard, I felt like I was a single mother, he was, I mean, he was childish to the point that he would go outside and play with my eight-year-old brothers, and, like, play, not like, not like, oh, your husband's cute, he likes to, like, spend time with the kids, no, he liked to be a kid, and play like a kid, for hours like he would be gone outside playing for hours while I was in the house taking care of my daughter and um you know I just I couldn't deal with that anymore I just I just wanted out of that relationship I don't think I've ever loved my daughter's dad you know when I left him I never looked back I never cried never missed him never felt anything at all I mean when I was done I was done and I to not regret anything um you know I was just so done with him and um about a month later I met my husband now and um we've been together on the December 27th will be nine years we've been together so I went from one serious relationship to the other and I am so so glad I did I love my husband and he loves my daughter and um you know he's just awesome and amazing and I'm so grateful for him and um yeah so when um I met my husband about 10 months into our relationship I got pregnant with my son um he wasn't a total surprise uh, we weren't TTC but uh, we weren't preventing and um, I got pregnant pretty quickly, like one month of unprotected sex. And I was pregnant. And um, so, you know, we kind of knew that, you know, the risk of having unprotected sex, you can get pregnant. So, I mean, you know, we were happy, you know, we were excited. We didn't know how the heck we were going to do it, you know, to have a baby. And at that time in our lives, financially, we weren't able you know to support a child like it was really hard and um you know so we we had our son and i had a great pregnancy with him no high risk no complications everything was perfect i mean he was just a meant to be child <laughs> And um, I worked, I was about eight and a half months pregnant. After that, I quit working. When I delivered him, he, um, I didn't have any complications at delivery other than um, I overbled just a tiny bit. Um, it wasn't anything too concerning. I didn't need like that shot to stop bleeding or anything like that like I had to have with my daughter. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> So, um, like when my son was about almost, like I want to say like three, um, my husband really started wanting another baby. He didn't tell me directly, but my, my sister had her second daughter at that time and he was just in love with her. And <laughs> I was not ready. Like, my husband would look at this baby like sparkly, twinkly eyes. Like, he was in love and I, I didn't, I don't think I looked at her that way not the way I look at babies now like now I see twinkly sparkly eyes but not not back then back then you know well like before we started TTC you know my whole goal was to go to college to become a police officer and I you know that was what I wanted to do and not you know I wanted to do my own thing you know go to school educate myself and um you know just give my kids a better life and a better you know lifestyle and just show them that I did it and they can do it too so um other than that um so 
like I got the IUD put in because I was afraid my husband was gonna knock me up and I wasn't ready for that and I wanted to wait till my son was about eight years old to start TTC well two years before <laughs> I got baby fever and that was in 2010 um, I actually got my IUD removed after two years of having it um, I had like some serious baby fever going on so um, we started TTC right away and I got a positive pregnancy test um, it was July 12th um, so we tried for like one cycle and I got pregnant and um, we actually had a miss miscarriage with that baby and it was my second loss with my first loss with my husband Carlos but my second loss in total pregnancies so um that pregnant loss was like the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my entire life I mean it was traumatizing devastating like it was terrible it was horrible I've never had to go through anything so bad in my life and I had to have a DNC um, I went to like almost nine months thinking I mean nine weeks thinking I was pregnant all those weeks and the baby had actually passed around six weeks I mean maybe seven weeks I, the doctor didn't tell me exactly how far along I was um, I did get an early ultrasound with that baby and I did see the, beat, the heart beating at six weeks um, but I'm sure soon after the ultrasounds when the baby passed so I had to get the DNC and I struggled with anxiety and depression really 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 bad um, for a long time and um, for a long time you know for a long time it wasn't like really really long um, but when I was pregnant well we TTC'd we started the TTC again um, at my third at my second cycle after my second cycle but we didn't get pregnant till after my third cycle which was on New Year's Day I got a positive OPK and um, we baby danced and we had got my baby girl Anaya and um, <laughs> I got emotional thinking about her um, at 20 weeks we lost her and I was really, really scared that entire pregnancy. I felt so uneasy with that pregnancy. Like, I just, I just wanted her out, like, ASAP. Like, I wanted her to be a full-grown baby and out so I can just be with her and just have her and not have to go through the whole pregnancy process because I was terrified. And I was terrified the most of of ultrasounds like I just thought that I was gonna go in there and not have her heart beating the same way you know we had lost that other baby before her and that's exactly what happened on I was like I was supposed to be like 21 weeks and four days when we went in for our um, our anatomy scan and we found that she didn't have a heartbeat <laughs> I'm sorry I just still get like it's just hard to deal with but she didn't have a heartbeat and um, and it was just devastating for my husband and I we were there together and I mean we just pretty much lost it it was really really bad and um, she had passed away at 19 weeks six days so I pretty much say like 20 weeks and um, I kept her inside of me for a few days because my daughter's birthday was coming up over the weekend and I think it was like a Wednesday when we went in for the ultrasound and I didn't go back to get induced to deliver her until um, that Tuesday so I had her inside me for a while I didn't have any complications um, you know, after having her or whatever, it took like five hours of labor and it still hurt like a real labor and I dilated and I gave birth to my daughter. So, and that was May 24th this year. So, okay, you guys, that's pretty much my history and my 10 minutes is up. So, bye.